Well, rain is something that many of us continue to look for across Keller Land. Meteorologist Scott Munt has a look at where we stand for the year. We've had our widely scattered showers and thunderstorms as of late, but unless you're caught underneath the right cloud, it really hasn't added to too much. It seems like we've been fighting the dry conditions through much of the year, and it continues during the middle of the summer months. This graphic shows the amount of precipitation so far this year. It ranges anywhere from 8.5 in Yankton and Mitchell to over 19 in Worthington. Compared to the average so far, many are below average. Almost 9 inches below in Yankton and 5 inches in Sioux Falls and winter. Now, there are a couple of areas above average, such as Worthington Pier and Aberdeen. Pier was helped with over 6 inches of rain in June. Take whatever rain you can get, as temperatures will warm well above average next week. Those hot temperatures will quickly take moisture out of the ground. Now, unfortunately, it looks like the first week of August might be what we get throughout the whole month, as early indications are showing that August may end up being hot and dry. For Kelo Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Munt. Thanks, Scott. And we'll get a closer look at the need for rain tomorrow when the latest drought monitor is released.